Morning everyone. Ah, today I'd like to discuss my 2020 planting plan. Again, we're just trying to help people out there with ways of helping their, helping their acreage when you only have a small acreage. I only have 10 acres out here. But today I'd like to start by showing you what I did was I printed out a little picture of the land. Layla, if you can bring that over here. Okay. And focus on this. I'll turn on the light. So, I kind of, what I did, this is our house. This is the back area. This is the food plot one that you've seen in other videos if you've actually watched some of my videos. This is the second food plot. And these are basically my property boundaries. Uh, so what I've got here, uh, let's take a look at this here, Layla. So these are the trees I ordered through the state. I've got 200 red pine, 100 white oak, and 100 hazelnuts. Um, I went with the red pine this year, uh, mainly because I couldn't get white pines and I've already got a bunch of white pines. I want to get some red pines. You want to kind of have a variety of different trees in case disease hits. Yep. So that's what we have coming from the state. We also have some coming from a different county sale. Uh, I just have it written out by hand, but I have uh, two orders of 50 white pines. Saplings these are, of course. Yeah. Uh, 25 red oaks coming and 25 silver maples and I also this company offers a deer food bundle and a turkey bundle they also have a few other bundles but I wanted the deer food and turkey food bundles those are the uh, that's the wild game that I mainly try and harvest um, Layla if you want to come here we'll just kind of show so the deer food bundle comes with American hazelnut, uh, an oak tree, a per prismion, yeah, something like that, domestic apple tree, and a coral berry. Um, so that's what we get with that package. The turkey bundle has a black oak, a wild a grape, grape, Washington hawthorn, uh, crab Sims. apple, and a black edelberry. Um, those, those won't be coming for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, they usually come, I think, late May. Uh, this year we had, we had a real quick winter, which is surprising in Wisconsin. But yeah. I have kind of laid out my plans on certain areas, what I want to plant for trees, and the numbers in these areas. Uh, I also I wanted to talk about this path right here. So I, I kind of have it in green. I don't know how well the video picks that up. But this is these are our trails that we use the UTV on or walking. Uh, I am going to plant a cover in those areas. It's supposed to grow uh. possibly up to 8 feet. I'm, I'm hoping for 5 or 6 feet. We'll see. Wisconsin doesn't have the greatest uh, growing season. Uh, but I cannot plant that seed until the soil temp is 65 degrees. And right now with an air temp of 45 degrees, oh. we're, a, we're a ways off of that. 20. Also in a prior video, I showed you my food plot too, that I'm going to plant some buckwheat in. And we need a soil temp of 45 degrees plus for that. Uh, I don't think we're quite there. Uh, today I'm going to take some soil... Hopefully today I'm going to take some soil temperature tests and we'll see where we're at. Um, I've got a few things planned today. Almost there. Almost, yeah, that's okay. I'm going to cut some barbed wire. I'm going to remove some fences. I'll kind of show you a little bit about that later. I'm going to mow that path that I want to put the cover on and check the soil temp. So with that being said, I'd like to say thank you everybody for listening. Don't be afraid to subscribe or give me a like, a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Don't really want the thumbs down. Uh, in the meantime, Layla wanted to say hi to everybody. Hi. 
Okay. There you go. All right. Goodbye. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody.